Nyt on huoneeseen. Mika Häkkinen keskellä. Tämän kilpailun voitti suurena sankarina. Ja kuunnellaan Mika. I think the whole race was uh, interesting from start to finish. Me anyway. I uh, think uh, I lost some time. Lost some time in, uh, behind the track in the uh, start of the race. Uh, I always wanted to go quicker, but it was, <coughs> again, would be far too risky to uh, try to make any maneuver to try to overtake him because obviously he's fighting from the, well not anymore, from the championship. So, uh, so I was decided to more or less stay behind him and, and uh, yeah, I would say coming to the last, last couple of laps, pretty incredible. It was one of the Jordan, Jordan from the us and, and uh, Jack was there and, and there was David in front of me and uh, I would say it was on my side, it was fantastic. At what point during the race did you suddenly think, well, maybe I can win this race today? I, I never, I never, I never would think that way. I never would win. Always in my mind. So this is in the last lap, you suddenly had the opportunity. Yeah, I think it, uh, I had opportunity, and uh, and it, it end of the day, uh, I don't know exactly what happened, but uh, a strange place to overtake, David. But uh, it was. It was, for my benefit, it was fantastic. Well, Mika, well done. Well, David, you won the first race of the season, and it's a nice result for you to be uh, to be here today. Yeah, no, I'm uh, happy to be on the podium for the last race. That was my goal. And, um, you know, obviously, from a team point of view, delighted that we've had a one-two. I think we had a little bit of help from Jack in the end, and I uh, let Mika through to give him a chance to push, because I couldn't make any headway into the job. And he was obviously able to make, make use of that, and Jack. Did the whole race go to plan? I mean, was the pit stop strategy all fine? Yeah, once again, the, the team was, I think, pretty fantastic in the pit stops. Uh, I don't believe that anyone would be as quick as us today. Uh, my end laps, I was very happy with my laps, and that helped me gain some track position as well. David, well done. Well, Jack, 1997 has been a season of up and down for you, and your third position today gives you the result you're wanting. Yeah, the, the championship feels great now. It's been an up and down uh, season. We've been the most competitive uh, team since the middle of the season, but there's been many races where uh, we didn't get the job done. Uh, I made a few mistakes, the team made a few mistakes, and then somehow uh, things didn't go right when it, they should have gone right. So uh, to win it here after this qualification of uh, Suzuka um, feels, uh, feels great. Uh, I was a little bit worried uh, 20 laps from the end because uh, when I overtook Michael, um, well, I wasn't really surprised when he final finally decided to turn in on me. Uh, it was a little bit expected, so uh, you know, I knew I was taking a big risk. Uh, but when he turned in on me, we banged wheels, and I jumped in the air, and I really thought that broke in the car. Um, luckily, he went off, and my car felt very strange. The rear end, uh, mostly on right-handers, uh, uh, did feel very stable. I could push for a few laps, but then I had to slow down because the tires were heating up in a strange way. Uh, and I could keep on doing that push, then slow down, push, and slow down, and then toward the end, uh, Nakano was in my mirrors, and I didn't want to, so I have to look in the mirrors all the time, so I let him by, and everybody got closer to me, and then Mika got very close to me, and uh, uh, he didn't want to be part of the fight at the beginning of the race when he was quicker, uh, and he stayed out of the battle later on in the race, uh, so when he was in my mirrors, there was a question of either pushing like a maniac and risking to go off uh, with the way the car was handling, or... Uh, seeing if he made a move to just let him through and uh, he made a move and then David was very close so uh, you know I didn't fight it either. How quickly did you find out that uh, Michael Schumacher had actually stopped on the circuit? Were you told on the radio? No, I, I, I knew it right away because the, the way he hit me was really, really hard. I'm surprised that I could actually to finish, uh, finish the race. Um, you know, I couldn't go more on the inside. I was actually on the grass. Um, so, uh, you know, either Michael let his, his eyes closed or uh, somehow his hand slid on the steering or something. For most of the race, or for the first half of the, half of the race, Michael seemed to have the advantage, and then suddenly he became competitive halfway through. Can you, can you think of any reason why that happened? Yeah, we, Michael had three sets of new tires, and we had only two. We started the race with old tires, and uh, I don't know how he managed to make a start, because uh, it was very slippery, and I had a lot of wheel spin, even though it wasn't a bad start, and Michael just, just took off. Uh, like a rocket, so uh, you know that was very su surprising and uh, frustrating. And then Heinz uh, was on the inside, and so I didn't close the door on him. Uh, I just let, let him through. 
And uh, after a few laps, so I don't think must have had some problem. I don't know, he started slowing down, and uh, then it was just a question of uh, fighting against Michael. But he already had five seconds lead, and I, I was pushing all the way. It was a very tough race. I, I just couldn't get closer to him until we got to the newer cars. Now, having won the IndyCar Championship, how does today's result uh, compare to that? Uh, today feels great. Uh, in IndyCar, I had led uh, the season most of the way, and it was just a question of keeping that lead. And here, most of the season, we fought back. Uh, until until uh, the race before Suzuka, where we finally got the lead back, uh, when it didn't look like we were going to get the lead back, then we lost it again, and we came here one point behind. The pressure was high. Uh, we had to fight back. We were the we were the underdog basically, and uh, that's always been the best position uh, for us to fight from. At any point during the race, did you think I've lost it? I'm not going to I'm not going to get in front of Michael. The first set, it didn't look good because I was pushing and I just couldn't catch Michael. One lap he would go slower, one lap I would go slower, and we'd just play. Uh, like that the whole the, the whole first stint and I just couldn't seem to catch him and you know it was becoming a physical race also because it was qualifying laps the whole way through uh, and this is one of the most difficult races uh, but as soon as we put the, the new tires and I got close to him I thought okay now now I can make a move but then somehow we hit Minardi who uh, opened the door very wide for Michael and decided to stay in front of me uh, you know they're using the same engine so I guess it has something to do with it um, decided to, to block me for half a lap and Michael got another three second lead and I, it was very difficult to catch him until the, the second pit stop where somehow his tires didn't seem to work. Okay, well done Jack. Now what are your plans for this evening? Uh, big party, <laughs> basically, with the whole team. Well done. Mika, uh, a good season for McLaren overall? Definitely. I think we, we, we finished like we started, more or less, and, and uh, we should have, I, I hope we should have continued that type of route all the way through the year. Uh, unfortunately, we, we, we weren't able to compete in very fast start of the season, but we were developing a car very fast, and, and, uh, and, and also the Mercedes should have a developing engine very fast, and we were obviously catching everybody, just race after race. And uh, we just realized one day we were able to do the pole position. We were quickest uh, very often and, and we were able to start winning races. And like this now, I think the development has gone in the right direction. We have a good people in the team, good baggage, good drivers. What else do you need? So <laughs> I'm looking forward to next year. <laughs> well done. Now, can we have some uh, comments on the race in your own language? Very good. Niin, on se nyt tapahtu sitten, sehän tässä tarvitsee muuta kuin niin kuin semmoinen vanha sanonta, että voittaa on helppo hymyillä. Ja, ja ei muuta kuin se teki hienon ajon ja, ja tuota, ja, ja tää oli uskoma, uskomatonta tiimityöskentelyä ja, ja sijoitus meni niin kuin vimoisen päälle, mä oon tosi tyytyväinen ja eihän muuta kuin sekin voi sanoa, että onneksi solko ja hieno voitto valmestarus tuli ja mä uskon, että Well, it might be one of the best I've And Jack, some comments from you in your own language. Kiitoksia seurasta. Ruutulippu tänään kertaa vielä, niin kuin tulon ruudutkin. Ruutulippu tänään 23-25, jossa vielä pitkä kooste jännittävän kilpailun tapahtumista ja myöskin niin Mika Häkkisen juhlatunnelmista täällä varikkoalueella. Juhlat käynnistyvät juuri nyt. Kiitoksia teille näkemiin kuulemiin heresistä.